Hello lovelies, how are we all? So today I have an art journal video for you, but it's a little different. Now normally when I do an art journal page, I have a thought process in mind or a quote or a focal image of some kind. Most of my pages do start with me just playing with paint and then they develop from there. This page I just loved so much the way it was that I just left it. So essentially it's a background, but I really like it so I'm just gonna leave it as it is I'm not actually going to add a focal image so what I have been attempting to do is as you can see my my junk oh, junk journal my art journal is getting very chunky and um, I only have a few pages left to fill it so I really want to finish off one art journal very soon so I can start a new one for the year and in doing that I you ever just want to play with paint I have nothing else in mind just want to play with paint and what I was also trying to do is step away from my usual preferred colors and play with something new like three different tones of pink that I don't think I've ever touched. So that's what I thought I'd do. I went and got out um, cherry pie which is my absolute favorite, bubblegum pink which I rarely use and the new peony blush which is a very pastel and you know me I'm not a pastel person but I liked it for the contrast. I do also bring in some blue but that is for contrast only. So I really wanted to work with a color palette. I'm trying to work with colors more that I don't use all that often because we know me, I love my blues, I love my greens, you know. I'm just trying to step into new color palettes. And I thought what a better way to do that than to tr while I'm trying to finish up my journal. So I'm using some of my favorite, my favorite stencils. Um, I just, um, got a wet one through the stencil to try and pull some of that paint off while it was still a bit wet and that's given me one nice layer back there and then I thought I'd add some white for contrast and uh, spritz it through the stencil but my white keeps clogging it doesn't work very well but that is the joy of an art journal page it doesn't matter it still looks like it's meant to be so I got a new stencil that I wanted to try as we know uh, when I get new stencils new mediums new toys I use them in my art journal just to have a play and that's what I wanted to do but I didn't want to cover it and use this whole thing I just wanted pops of it here and there because I really wanted to focus on that lost and found portion of the of the stencil so just using a bit of um, periwinkle blue which I love and using that as a contrast to get some um, pops of that blue around and I guess we can call this my focal point so then I thought it needed something else so I went and got another number stencil that I have but I decided to use my cherry pie because it wouldn't pop off that page as much it wouldn't be as bold and bright as the blue so the focal is still going to be that blue but this number stencil is just giving some more to that background so at this point I'm looking at the page and nothing's connecting everything is just free floating so I thought I might get that white again and try and bring in this white um, dot stencil again and in doing that I'm layering it over the, the cherry pie and the blue to try and bring everything together does that make sense see how the blue and the red aren't connected they're sort of free floating in space I don't like that I like things to have some form of unity in a page so it looks like they're all connected so I used that white paint and the stencil to sort of bridge those areas that aren't connected so it sort of looks more flowy and then because I just wanted to add some more white I decided to get a lid that I just have floating around uh, use some white paint and make some circles and then I also do the same thing with an old rewards card I recently cleaned up my desk I have so much more space to play with but I also found so many rewards cards that I've been hoarding, um, time zone cards and iTunes gift cards. I've been hoarding them um, for my art desk and I found, I've only been using two, but I found a whole bunch. So yeah, that's just another mark making tool and this is where I'm going to leave it. I really love this page. There's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no focal image, but I just love it. So I'm just going to leave it as is. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with a new one. Bye for now.